Hello everyone. Today I'll be smelting copper ore into copper metal using the prehistoric method that they've used for thousands of years. I figured it's time to start putting the forge in GeoForge. So let's get to it. Alright, so I panned most of this out, and we have a lot of this copper slag material. I think uh, a lot of it didn't melt completely. Some of it did, some of it didn't. A lot of these pieces have intermixtures of copper and melted material, but... I did get a nice copper bead. Alright, so this was my first attempt at smelting copper from Malachite Copper Ore, and it did not go as planned or as well as I originally planned. A couple things went wrong, and a couple of mistakes were of course made, because with the first attempt, mistakes are going to happen. So, first mistake was um, when I lit the fire, I should have gotten a better charcoal bed going, so more hot coals. I don't think I let the fire get hot enough initially at the start, which caused a little bit of problems, but either way, it still got hot enough to make all this slag, which leads to the second problem of the soil. We have terrible quality soil here, and as soon as it got hot, 
it dried out the soil and it turns our soil into just a dusty powder where you can just grab it and you can just chuck it in there and it just dust to the wind. Terrible soil. So as soon as it got hot and with me blowing on the bellows, all the air probably just blew all the dust and was smothering the fire coal bed that I had going in the first place. So a lot of my charcoal, when I dug a lot of this out, even after several hours, I sat there for about three or four hours doing this, there were some charcoal pieces that were unburned which shows that a lot of it was smothered out. So it didn't get as hot as it should have and it didn't burn like it should have. So it was an incomplete process. And I got a lot of this partially melted slag copper pieces. So I have a lot of copper malachite that turned red. I have some that are like halfway through transitions. And then a couple of tiny pieces of copper beads. So it somewhat worked. And I believe I'll be doing this again. I'll probably attempt it in a different way. So maybe in the future, I'll make a little clay foundation or maybe a little clay furnace. All right, so anyways, this will do it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. And I'll see you all in the next one. And hopefully, at some point, we can try this again once the fire danger is no longer an issue. So, thanks for watching. Take care.